Welcome to another part of our Jigger learning videos. This time we will discuss about Jigger's life cycle. Adult female Jiggers will lay eggs in the soil. These eggs will become dormant for 4 to 7 days before a non feeding pre larva or deuterium emerges. After around 6 days, they grow into the 6 leg larval stage, also commonly known as Jiggers. Jiggers are 0.2 mm in diameter and red in color. This larval stage is the only parasitic stage of the mite's life cycle. After feeding on hosts, which are mostly rodents and sometimes human, poly and gorge jiggers drop down to the soil and develop into nymph stage. The first nymph stage is protonymph, where they transition from larva to nymph and become inactive. Then they develop additional pair of legs and become deuteronymph. This stage is active and feeds on small insects and insect eggs. Lastly, they become inactive again as they enter the tritonym stage, which is a transitional stage from nymph to adult. As they grow into adulthood, these mites become independent predators, feeding on small insects and insect eggs. Female mites tend to lay all their eggs in one spot, therefore explaining the localization of infestation. Human become accidental host of chicka mites if they visit the mites' breeding areas. Chicka larva stays as colonies in soil lumps, vegetation, grass, low bushes, and plants. When a prospective host arrives, they have several behaviors to help them, such as light sensitivity by recognizing a shadow cast by potential host, temperature sensitivity by detecting the host body heat, and touch sensitivity using tiny hair-like sensory organs. These organs also help chiggers to feel each other and form clusters. Chiggers will climb into vegetation and wait for hosts to brush past. When triggered by shadows, vibration, and body heat, chiggers will stand with their front legs outstretched so they can grasp potential hosts. This action is known as questing behavior. Once chiggers attach to the host, the hair-like organs also help chiggers find a good place to feed so they don't get brushed off easily. After chickers attach themselves to the host, they need to find an optimal place to feed where they don't get brushed off easily and the skin is thin enough. Then they pierce the skin using its mouth part known as salicylate and proceed to insect its saliva containing digesting enzyme to the bite wound to digest cellular contents. The surrounding skin around the bite site will harden and form a tube-like or straw known as the silostome. The chica uses this thylosome to suck up the digested tissue. Unlike common beliefs, chickers do not suck blood. Itching from a chica bite, which might be caused by allergic reaction to the saliva or local immune response from the thylosome, may not develop until 24 to 48 hours after the bite, so the victim may not realize the bite itself. Chickers can remain attached to suitable host for 3 to 5 days, sometimes up to 1 month, before they finally become fully engorged and drop down to the soil. That's all for today. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you have questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks and see you in our next video.